Hello kids and welcome back. Yeah. Today we are going to talk about the organs in our body. Jacob likes science. He likes science a lot. And he's always reading his book. His book is called The Body Book. The Body Book. The Human Body Encyclopedia. I, so, I say the moth is that we're going to use. Right here. We're going to use these moths. What we're going to do is we are going to lay Jacob down and we are going to draw the organs on his body. We're going to show you kids where your organs are located, how they work, and what they do. Are you ready to get started? Hey, you should, you should make the bones, but the bones, you can't see the bones actually making blood. It, it is made inside of them. That's right. Jacob's talking about bones and how bones make your blood cells, but we can't see it because it's inside the bone. Yep. But actually, blood looks like Lewis and bare eyes. Blood what? I, I have to tell you something that's important about your white blood. What is, what's important about the white blood cells? They, they kill germs. They do. But let's talk about our organs first. Yeah. Are you ready to draw the organs and teach the kids about them? Yes! All right, kids, let's get started. Yeah! Okay, kids, so here we are with Jacob. First, we are going to draw his heart. Your heart is a pump that pushes blood around your whole body. Each time your heart beats, it squirts out a small cup full of blood and refills for the next beat. Jacob, can you show us where your heart is in your body? No, on you. No, no but first I'll show you the whole thing. There's a picture of the heart, but lay down. Show us on your body where your heart's located. Okay. In the middle. In the middle. So should we draw your heart on there? Uh, yes. Okay, watch your hands. Okay. Is ow! Careful. It has. It's just a marker. So this is Jacob's heart. Let's color it in. But it, and you actually have to make it look like those veins coming out. There's veins and arteries coming out of your heart. Yes. Okay. So your heart is in the middle of your chest, squeezed between two lungs. You can feel its beat just left of the bone in the middle of your chest. It's pretty neat. Your heart is really two pumps in one. One half pumps blood through your lungs and the other half pumps blood around the rest of your body. And on the top of your heart, you have three places that come out up here. <laughs> This is where blood goes out to the body through the aorta. And then you also have blood from most of the body enters through the vena cava. And we are going to get a blue marker and we'll show you where the vena cava is on the heart. What is vena cava? Vena cava is where blood from most of the body enters the heart and it goes Next, right in there. Okay, so that's the heart, kids. Now, um, what other organs are in your chest, Jacob? My lungs. Your lungs, you're right. And what do lungs do? They, 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 they collect oxygen. And, 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 and the, when, the, when, the, when the blood cells use all of it, 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 it does our lungs and we breathe it out. What do we breathe out? We breathe in oxygen, but what do we breathe out? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, that's right. So we have to breathe all the time in order to supply our bodies with oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. And we use our lungs to do this. So we are going to use the color pink for our lungs. And we are going to draw our lungs on Jacob. No, they're you, really red. They're really red, but we're going to use pink because we already used red for your heart. Okay? That's your heart and my lungs are the... There's two pe there's, the ones that are, have two little whole sacks. They have little sacks in them? Yeah. Do you know what those sacks are called? Yeah, and there's two, there's two of the lungs. There's two. There's two? Yeah. Okay. And These then... are, they're, they're all around the heart. That looks, that's the shield of Antiwa. So we got Jacob's lungs. Look at it. Whoa. And what did you say, the little air sacs? There's little air sacs in your heart? But the blood does in them, and, 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 it, and it collects the oxygen. 
That's right. It, it, don't, it, feels, it don't feel so good. It doesn't feel so good? No. Okay, so let's tell the kids about this. So your lungs are here. And inside your lungs, it, look up, look up. You have, it goes, you're breathing through your mouth and it goes, this tube goes down to your throat and then it breaks off into your lungs. That's your trachea. Once it breaks off into your lungs, it's kind of like a little tree with little branches. And these little branches break off and they are all over the lungs. And at the end of these little branches are little sacs. Hang on. Reese is coming through. It's okay. They have these little sacs in there and they're called alveoli. So your lungs are full of tunnels ending in tiny air socks called the alveoli. Here, oxygen from the air passes into your blood. Your blood carries oxygen around every part of your body. How neat is that? And don't forget, we also have little air sacs over here. And they, they fill up your lungs. They're all over the place. And they fill up with air. And then when your blood comes through, it exchanges the air into your body and takes the carbon dioxide. We have somebody making music in the background. <laughs> and that's how we breathe. So let's go to another organ now. Okay, so we talked about the heart and the lungs. Next, we're gonna talk about the digestive system. Do you know what's included in the digestive system, Jacob? But I'm telling you something now why we, but, 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 it usually smells our food when, when we eat the food. It smells like pizza. It smells like pizza? Yeah, if we eat it. Okay, so the digestive system contains our, um, our esophagus, which goes down to our stomach, which is part of, the di 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 part of our digestive system, and it also goes into our large and small intestines. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the digestive system. The digestive system starts with our mouth, goes down to our trachea, into our stomach, and our intestines. So lift your head up to look to the sky. Your digestive system starts in your mouth, and there's a tube right in here. It's your trachea. It's going to go down and down until it meets your stomach. And the stomach... Doo -doo 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 -doo. The stomach is huge, pretty big. That's the size. This is your stomach. When you eat, the food goes down and settles in here. And for Jacob, let's see. Jacob just ate a piece of pizza with some pepperonis on it. And so that's in his stomach. Jacob has pizza in his stomach. When the food gets to your stomach, your stomach starts contracting and there's digestive juices in there and it starts to eat up and break up the food. Do you know where the food goes after it comes out of your stomach? Into into the small intestines. Into the small intestines. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so we have small intestines. And the small intestines are pretty much just a bunch of little tubes. Watch your hands. Are a bunch of little tubes. Watch your hands. A bunch of little tubes in your belly that go up and down and around. <laughs> and the food, the pizza, will travel down all these little tubes. And as it travels down the tubes, the body will absorb nutrients through those intestines. So, when we are done with our small intestines, Jacob, can you tell us where the food goes after the small intestines? Into the large intestines. Into the large intestines. Okay, so let's draw these large intestines. They, 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 are, they are kind of like building the, surrounding the small intestines. They're bigger, but they're, they, they're around the smaller intestines? Yeah, they, it's like a village. Oh, a village. Okay, so the large intestines, like Jacob said, it's larger. So we are going to draw a larger, and it goes up the stomach. It goes over. It goes under the belly, and it's going to go down. It tickles. And it's going to come down here, and it's going to go straight down. So let's... <laughs> I guess large intestines are also very tickly. <laughs> no, that monsters. <laughs> okay. So then you have your large intestines. And after you eat food and it goes into your stomach and digest, it goes through all your little intestines, through your big intestines, where most of the water dries out, and you're left with 
poop. And then you have to go to the Don't bathroom. Say that word. It's okay, that's what it's called. And the poop leaves your body through your large intestines. Reese is helping out, kids. But we have a couple organ a couple other organs in the body we haven't talked about yet, don't we? Like the liver. Should we talk to the kids about the liver? Yeah. All right, let's talk to the kids about the liver. So the last part of the organs that we are going to talk about today is the liver. And the liver is a large meaty organ that sits on the right side of the belly. Yeah. The liver's main job is to filter the blood coming from the digestive tract before passing into the rest of the body. And the liver is located right over here. And we are going to use the color blue today to draw the liver. And like I said, the liver is large. So the liver goes from here <laughs> and it goes up. And that's where the liver sits. And there's also a little area in your body called the gallbladder, but we're not going to talk about the gallbladder today. We're just going to talk about these main organs. So the last part of the organs we are going to talk about is the kidneys and the bladder. So the kidneys are on either side of the body, but they're usually in your, towards your back, right? Yeah. But we drew them on the front so the kids can see a little bit better than on your back. So your body gets rid of all waste chemicals and excess water by making urine. Urine comes from two organs called the kidneys. One kidney, two kidney. They filter and clean blood as it flows through, removing chemicals that your body doesn't need. And then we go to the urinary system. Your kidneys, bladder, and the tubes connected to them make up your urinary system. The last part of the urinary system is the urethra. Urine comes out of this tube when you go to the bathroom. So all the chemicals and everything that you drink, it all gets filtered out and it goes into the kidneys. From there, it comes down these tubes, the ureters, into your bladder. And your bladder fills up and fills up. Don't pull your pants down. So it comes down these two tubes to your bladder. And your bladder fills up and fills up and fills up until you go, I gotta pee! And then you get up and you run to the bathroom you get all the urine out. But I can look. Okay, it, 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 it looks like the planet Earth when, when it fills up. Your bladder gets big like the planet Earth? No, 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 the dreams. No, it looks like it. It looks like the talking it to dead or ass once. <laughs> okay, kids, we hope you enjoyed learning about the organs in the body. So please come back later, like, and subscribe. Bye, Bye kids.